Hello students, hope you all are done with the preparations for your exams. In this video, I am going to work out few important concepts as well as the questions related to the core signals and systems under j and h for R18 as well as R16 regulation, triple E and EC students. I have covered only few questions, why because the course is too lengthy and I have taken into consideration few important questions where in this, uh, from these questions you are going to get for sure 5 questions and I have taken only few units. Please kindly look at each and every point and work accordingly. The first and foremost is the orthogonal signal space as well as the vector space and the applications may be a 7 mark question. Later derive the expression for computing mean square error in approximating a function f of t by a set of n orthogonal functions is one of the gunshot question dear students. Discuss the concept of orthogonality in the complex functions and derive expression for a component vector approximating a function f1 of t and f2 of t in case of any complex functions may be also one of the good short question. Dear students from the unit 1 you are going to get 2 questions as per the covid pattern we are supposed to answer any 5 out of 8 questions. Later the principle of orthogonality and test the orthogonal of signals sin wt cos 2 wt over the intervals given here. Make sure to work out all these concepts. Prove that sin c of 0 is 1 and plot sin 2c function is also one of the very very important question. Later derive even and odd components of the signal may be a 7 mark and later sketch unit step function and signal signum function bring relation between them. A rectangular function f of t is defined as these CDs approximate this function by a waveform. Such type of questions will be coming for sure in your examination. Make sure the, uh, the relation or the equation may change but the questions will be of same nature. Later, what is a condition for a set of complex functions to be mutually orthogonal to, or two signals to be orthogonal may be also one of the seven mark question and related to the exponential as well as sinusoidal signals and the classification base you are going to get certain relations and the problems make sure to work out these all concepts GS students and from here to here we can expect the equation of 1a as well as 1b and the remaining concepts these all we are going to get even 2a as well as 2b from this please do cover and work out accordingly to score out of out mark later have taken into consideration the third question find the exponential Fourier series for the uh, rectified sine waves and certain sine waves will be given for sure and this type of question may be also one of the gunshot question in the third year students and list out the properties of Fourier series as well as transformers and explain about Fourier transformer spare obtain the Fourier transform of the following functions of impulse signal as well as sing, uh, single symmetric gate pulse may be a 7 mark question. Later the differences between series and transforms in a Fourier representation is one of the very very important and gunshot question for 7 mark or 5 mark derive the expression for trigonometry as well as expo complex or exponential Fourier series combination or quotient is also one of the very very important question state and prove the convolution property of Fourier transformation till here you are going to get 3a as well as 3b question dear student later find the Fourier transform where certain relations and the equ equations will be given you are supposed to work out certain concepts related to the Fourier transform next Dirichlet transitions as well as impulse or unit step function may be also one of the very very important question. Later periodic signals in Fourier transforms and Hilbert transform with an appropriate equation may be also one of the gunshot question and from these concepts we can expect 4a as well as 4b question dear students make sure to work out and do not forget to carry your calculator to the examination hall later I have taken into consideration one more from these two concepts I mean till now whichever I have covered are of first two units and you are going to get four questions for sure. Now one more question will be covering from these topics Paley Vernier criterion is also one of the very very important and gunshot question and define system and its classification later bandwidth rise time relationship as well as signal bandwidth as well as system bandwidth the differences I have uploaded a video on how to take J into examination theory paper to score a better mark please do work out later Bebo system and LTI system derive an expression for a transfer function related to LTI system one is well be the one of the gunshot question later ideal filter characteristics of low high band passes as well as band stop 
and the problems related where the circuit will be given and you are going to work out the problems related to it later impulse response and the step response the differences and define ideal lpf hpf bpf and bsp with respect to the system your students as i was telling that the signals and systems course is too lengthy in structure these all are the questions which you are supposed to work out for the course this signals and systems test the linearity and casualty time variance and stability for the given relations and equations may be also one of the 7 or 10 mark problem and do not expect the direct question you will be getting a combination of a b why because the course is too lengthy in its structure if you work out these questions i can assure you that the pakka five questions will be covering throughout these units i have taken only few questions into consideration because the structure is too lengthy and you have less time please do work out accordingly and do not forget to share this video to the students who are taking this course as well as subscribe share and like my videos thank you good luck and god bless you all